One of my readers told me that she has already attempted all three of the liver recipes that are on my blog. She requested for a fourth one and here we are. Today's recipe will be super heavy, super easy and I'm going to take you through how to make super tender liver. Karibuni! kilogram of liver. The first and most important step for getting super tender liver is to peel off the membrane that coats the liver. I didn't know this until a few years back and it's a tip my aunt shared with me. Since then I've never ever skipped this step. I thought it wasn't as important but after I tried it out I've never looked back. You should try it as well and trust me you too will never look back. The membrane from our liver is because when heat is applied to the liver and the membrane is still present it has a tendency to tighten and that leads to very chewy very tough liver we don't have time for tough liver no 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 the membrane comes off pretty easily like sedotape i have taken about five minutes to remove the membrane from my liver and i'm pretty much done my liver is a bit slippery i must admit but if you want to have a more smooth sailing process of removing your membrane, just freeze your liver for a few minutes. When it's semi-frozen, the membrane will come off pretty easily. This is totally worth the effort, trust me. Your tongue, your tummy, your jaw will thank you for the effort you put in, trust me. Chopping my liver, I'm going to add it into my container and then we're going to add half a cup of milk. The reason why we add the milk is so that any to toxin that is present is absorbed by the milk and also to further soften our liver. Remember our goal is super tender liver and remember the two key steps to super tender liver is peeling off the membrane and soaking your liver for a few minutes in your milk. I'm now going to let this soak for about 5 minutes. In the meantime, let's get started on the shooting. The flavor of this particular cocoa is so complementary to that of the onions and to the garlic I also added. It's also fantastic with liver, so this had to be part of the recipe. Now that my onions have softened and the garlic is fragrant, I'm going to add my tomatoes followed by the tomato paste. by the dried herbs, starting with the rosemary, the oregano, and the thyme. Not only do these herbs add fantastic flavor to my food, but they also have such amazing health benefits. Rosemary, for example, is an excellent antifungal and it helps in memory recollection. Oregano is a very good antioxidant and thyme has been found to ease arthritis. That's really good. I don't know why Kenyans in general are so scared of spices, yet they come from plants and they also have health benefits to your body. Don't be scared of spices, incorporate them into your meals as much as you can. Do your research, be informed and eat delicious food. I'm now going to add my paprika, which is also good for enhancing the color, and a tiny bit of roiko so that it doesn't overshadow the deliciousness of the herbs I used. I'll then add a quarter cup of hot water, 
so that the spices can cook down and then after everything has dried up and combined I'm going to add the liver Now that my tomatoes are nice and thick, everything has combined beautifully, I'm now going to add my liver. I know what some of you are thinking, and I know what some of you are saying. Oh my god, Kalumi did not boil the liver before stewing. Or some of you are thinking, oh my god, leave it a jadamu, siwezi kunwa damu for liver. Or maybe you're thinking, oh my god, Kalumi is a vampire. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not a vampire. First of all, when you remove the membrane of the liver, you can entirely skip the boiling before stewing your liver step. And also, it will cook a lot faster and still maintain its tenderness. And I'll prove to you that each and every piece, okay, I'll prove to you that the liver is indeed cooked through. And no, I'm not a vampire. This step, I was also a bit skeptical of when my aunt showed me, but once I tried it out, it is foolproof. You should try it out as well. Let me know how it goes, and if you fail, also let me know but you know what no one is going to fail this is foolproof trust me to confirm if the liver is indeed cooked through just take one piece and just slice through and you can see it's cooked it's cooked through a hundred percent so don't be scared of trying out this method it's fast easy it will give you tender liver and cooked through liver now that we've ascertained that our liver is perfectly cooked through i'm now going to prepare my garnish and we're done how easy was that really so easy eating this as well don't forget the link to specific ingredient quantities is on my bio don't forget to subscribe and as usual when you try this out take a photo and i'll be sure to show you off on all my social media platforms first things first let's have a taste Be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe.